Hi guys and welcome back to the Crafty Corner here at Made in the Shire and today we are going to be talking about the Southern Wool Show. I went to the Southern Wool Show. Um, it's about two and a half hours drive um, from here. I'm literally right by Iron Bridge um, in Shropshire, if you know of it. So um, I thought I'd go and have a look, see what the Southern Wool Show was about. Um, what I would say is it wasn't as big as Wonderwall in Wales. That was absolutely humongous. There were so many people there. It was worth the two hour drive to get there from here. Um, Southern Wall Show, I think I spent about an hour looking around everything. Um, there wasn't a lot there um, and I didn't, there wasn't any food outlets. Um, there was nothing open apart from the Costa that was there. Um, so I personally, for me, for the drive, the two and a half hours drive to get there, I probably wouldn't go again. Um, but I did get some bits. I didn't get a lot of bits, but I will show you what I got. Um, so I got some pre-felts. Um, there's one, two, three, four. There's five pieces of pre-felt here. And... They were £4 for the five, so I'm going to use them and they look just about the right size for my box frames. Um, I've not done 2D felting before, I'm more of a sculptor, um, but I thought I'm going to give it a try, see how it turns out. And these were supplied by New Forest Mohair. Um, farm to yarn mohair pop-up shop so this is their business card sorry if it's the wrong way around um, yeah so that's their business card all their bits are on the back there if you can read it um, so I can't wait to try those um, I did pick up some sari silk um, I've never used this before I don't know what to use it for, but it felt lovely and it looked lovely. Um, I think people use it um, when, they're, when they're doing their carding and they're making art bats. So they would use and put some of that in, or you could use it for spinning. I don't know how it would felt um, or if it would wet felt. I've got no idea. I've never used it. Um, but this is... So this is 50 grams of sari silk and it cost me £3.75 and it's um, it's called Sheepish from Hedgehog Equipment. So there we go, there's quite a lot of sari silk there. The colours are fabulous and they did have some that were bright pink um, but I wanted the green because I'm going to try and use it for something Christmassy. I don't know what so if you've got any ideas um, please let me know. Um, I did buy an art bat. I absolutely love my art bats. Um, I make uh, teddy bears out of them. Anything's uh, beautiful. Make the um, wet felted bowls with this. And this is Merino, 100% Merino, 100 grams. And it's called Sunset Over Wreath. 
and it cost me seven pounds and that was from the thrashing barn um i've heard of the thrashing barn i think it's quite a well-known um company so yeah there we go there's all the colors if you can see them there we go and then i met a lovely lady and she creates um the background for 2d pictures and this is the kit that i got it's in a lovely bag so i'm gonna see if i can get it out without damaging it so i brought some some um background felt for it to needle felt onto i think that was I can't remember, it was £2 or £3. I think it was £3. And then the art bat itself. Hold on. Oh, I absolutely fell in love with it. And it was the last one and I had to get it. But she makes these on her carding drum. And let me show you. So I don't know if it's going to do it justice. But all in the um, white here has got all the angelina fibers in so i don't know if you can see them sparkling but it looks like snow and it's a christmas background i don't know if you can tell so this is just an example that she's um done here with it um but this cost me it was it's called winter scene and it was 12 pound and the lady was from let me just get it here hedgehog and hoot needle felting tutors and supplies there we go so her name is called kath smith there we go there she is on the back of her card um with a i think that's a little needle felted sheep there and her card here i must say it is a very cute business card but yeah, so um, I'm going to keep her card definitely because I've seen some other backgrounds that I really, really liked. Um, I've seen some autumnal ones. Um, I think there were some there with poppies on. Um, and yeah, so I will be going back and placing another order. Um, I'm just going to open this and see how big it is. She's put some lovely twine on it. Um, Oh, don't want to ruin it. Right. Sorry, guys, the um, twine's got caught in the felt, but I have unraveled. So here it is. Oh, look. There we go. So look, she's even put what looks like stars in the night sky. And then she's got all this, all this Angelina fibers running through the bottom, which is snow. How gorgeous is that? Oh, I can't wait to do a little winter scene on that ready for Christmas. Right, let's fold it back up because I don't want to ruin it. Okay. So that was that one. Then I found a stall that was selling a lovely lady. I've got no idea what her um, business name was. I can't remember. She never gave me a card. Um, but she was selling um, like secondhand equipment and vintage pieces. Um, and I did pick up sorry my throat's really dry today so i did pick up this roll here with a load of herdwick um spun spun yarn so and on here there is 630 grams and it cost me nine pound fifty and i think that's a bargain for spun wool and it's real wool 
Herdwick wool. So Herdwick I think is quite coarse, but it doesn't feel that bad. But what I'm going to be using that for is I do a little bit of loom work and I've got quite a big um, loom. So I'm going to use this to thread it up or I can weave with it, whatever. And then I did get another cone um, and I got this one. So again, there's quite a bit more on this one, I think. So there's 837 grams and this is... Swaldale and it was £13.50 so again I'll probably use it for the same um, the same things uh, and then I did pick up now these were my bargain and anyone that is into their wool and they card their own wool with hand carders will know how expensive hand carders are and you're probably looking at about £70 for these but I picked them up for 30 they were used and I have used them last night because I, I, I had to try them. Um, so there is some wool on them. But yeah, I got these hand carders. So they're quite big. Um, and I did use, <laughs> did use them last night because I'm impatient and I wanted to try. But yeah, we've got some antique hand carders. Um... The pins and everything that's in there they're all fine they're great they're not rusty or anything like that and they're still in shape so there we go bargain of the day um, and then I did also buy um, I think it's a, a Masham fleece uh, from the Masham sheep or Masham or oh, I can't remember um, but there was lots of um, tight ringlets on there. I, I would say the staple length was probably about three inches, three, four inches. Um, so I have washed that today. It was a whole fleece, cost me £15. It was a bit dirty um, and there was a little bit of vegetation in there. But that's all washed, it's all sorted. I'm going to be taking the kills off later on tonight and I will be hand dyeing them. So watch out for my Etsy shop because there will be some more curls going on there. Um, so if you do want a specific colour then just let me know in the comments and I'll be able to put together some bags um, of whether you want them like mixed colours um, or just one certain colour just let me know and I will be able to do a bag I've got that many kills now um, and that was it but today um, I went out up the town centre and I did buy some bits um, to create some Christmas cards with so I brought these and I think these were from the range and they're just five by seven, 30 pack, it cost me £3.50. Um, but I thought I'm gonna see for my stall, I'm gonna make some Christmas cards and I'll probably um, draw on a reindeer um, or print on if uh, my printer will take it. Print on a reindeer and then I'm going to um, need or felt um, his face on there and some little horns. I did buy some bells to go on there as well. Um, I brought some Christmas pipe cleaners because every good needle felter needs their pipe cleaners. I brought some bows. Um, and I'm going to do the same but with bookmarkers so I'm going to make some Christmas bookmarkers and some normal everyday use bookmarkers and I brought some cardstock um, all different colours in there uh, so I'm just going to fold it over and do the same on those um, I've also brought um, some cookie cutters so I brought some stars and I brought some Christmas trees, um, B&M £2.50 and 
I will probably do I might do a YouTube video or it might be a TikTok video I'm not sure yet but I'm going to do some Christmas garland using using these as a stencil um what else did I get oh yes I also got some linen bags oh no cotton shopping bags um because I'm going to print off some some nice designs and put them transfer them onto the shopping bag so that's something else that I'm going to be doing and the last thing is I don't know if you've heard of these these discs so there you go and I can't I can't pronounce this but I think it's it's pronounced a Kumihimo disc. Um it's a Japanese braiding tool basically and uh, you can make them out of card uh or you can get the foam um round disc here and you can make wristbands and I've put some ends on here so it literally I've just glued it in there and it's magnetic and then it locks into place um, but I might make some of these um, for my stool but I'm going to make them out of my own spun yarn and so they will be 100% wool um, and I don't know I'll probably put them on for I don't know maybe £1.50 or something um, just aim them at the children that come up to the stall um, and I think I think that's about it that's I'm going to be busy with all of this for a little while um, I have still got to make my still gonna make an otter using this wood um, I don't know if you've seen in one of my previous videos uh, that I brought this from the range from the aquarium section they've got loads of um, pieces of log for your fish tanks um, and I thought that this was quite a good one here to maybe perch a bird on and then this one here it stands up really nice and strong so I was going to put um, again one of these acrylic dowels in here somewhere i'll get the other half to use the drill <laughs> and then if it gets damaged i can blame him um but yeah so that'll go in there somewhere and then i was going to have um a nice sea creature maybe an otter a seal um I'm not entirely sure um, if you've got any ideas let me know um, because my brain is blank at the moment yet yeah, so I think that's about it uh, so from the Southern Wall Show this was my bargain of the day and I fell in love with um, this mat this background bat here and um, Oh, can't wait to use it um, but that's all we've got time for at the moment and I'm hoping I will come up with a tutorial pretty soon um, I'm due to go back to work because I am training to be an accountant at the moment um, and I'm working currently working in finance at a specialist school um, so I've had four weeks off um, even though I've had four weeks to do nothing <laughs> I've still been really really busy um, uh, anyway I'm due to go back to work full time tomorrow after our lovely time off um, uh, so I do work till half past four um, and then I have to go to college till half past eight at night um, to carry on with my studies um, so I am going to be pretty busy so you'll have to bear with me if I'm not in time with doing a video um, or anything like that um, you know the reason why because I've got all obviously all my daily challenges um, I have PT sessions 
um i have i do quite a lot i've got a house to run and two children as well that i have to run around now that they're teenagers um so yeah apologies if videos don't come out as quick as i did say that they would um but yeah so that's the end of the video and please like and subscribe um, as I say, I'm hoping to get a video out once a week, but again, just bear with me. Okay, thank you. Bye.